That was not me. That was the dog. That was the dog. Or the chair. Well, it's, it's done. Uh, 150 frames rendered. Just going to quickly move them to another folder. And I'm just going to select a few that are hopefully not touching the sides. There's a good one. I was kind of hoping not to do this. Mm, and then there's other ways you can do this as well. You could, you know, bring them into Photoshop, create a little mask, add some noise to just filter out the ones that are not, um, you know, touching the sides. And some of them it's really, really hard to see. Um, that was a bad choice. These look alright. We're about halfway. Um, there's other ways as well. You could get rid of them um, like this. You could crop them. You know yourself if you're feeling crappy. Uh, I think these. Oh, uh, these are. Yeah, these are okay. And 26, we're almost there. Uh, I think that's okay. And then you can look at the script and change your um, object that it's emitting from, and you'll get different. Well, I've got 36, so I'm just going to cut these. Create a new folder here. I'll just pop them in there. Apologies for the noisy mechanical keyboard. Let's quickly take a look and see what it looks like. Um, that one is touching, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the the effect I'm going for. I'm just using my mouse to scroll through. You could also use your you know uh, keyboard or keys or whatever. So I'm going to go with these, there's, there's 36 of them, that's how many I need uh, to create a 6x6 six six sub UV texture, if you want to call it, uh, Atlas. I'm going to go Photoshop, I'm using CS6 and this is just Automate Contact Sheet 2. Um, I'm going to set it to inches first so I can zero out the auto, the, the, the spacing here that it adds. Um, for some reason it just doesn't listen to me if you do it in pixels. I'm looking for 1536 because that's 256 by 256, you know, times 6. Uh, at least 256 times 6. Let's browse. Right, select all and go. You'll immediately see which ones are touching the side. I've got sides. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five touching the sides. You've got to decide. Um, if you're not happy with that, you're going to need to, you know, change or fix those. Might not be the worst idea to quickly quickly replace those. But then again, you know, I'll be replacing them with ones I've probably already selected, unless I cut them out and I didn't copy them. Yeah, I did, because there's only 114 here. <laughs> okay, quickly do that. So I need one.
that's pretty cool. These line up exactly, which makes my job a little bit easier. Should have just used that from the beginning. This one is kind of hard to see, and Explorer doesn't show up like that. But it's sneaky hobbit sees. And then this guy here. And then. Nothing for okay. That's five, yeah, five. Let's get rid of them. I'm gonna pop them in here. Then we're gonna go back over here and I'm gonna just choose five more. Uh, because they will be in sequence, I can just drop them in. I'm cheating a little bit by going for the early ones, but I shouldn't really. I could go for. Yeah. Maybe that guy. Right, we've got five. Let's cut them out. <clears throat> Pop them in here. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Okay, and then I'll just I'm gonna just quickly redo this. Because it's really quick. I'm not gonna pause the video for that. Um Set it back to pixels, browse, select all, and go. There should still be only um, 36 in here. And there is. And then I'm just going to go with whatever I have here. You'll immediately see if it's touching the sides because it's going to look a little weird. Ah, it looks better. Maybe one or two that could still be a bit better. But yeah, this is kind of what I'm going for. A little bit of chaos in the flames. If you play this um, little sequence here, you can see what it looks like. I'm just going to use my arrow keys. So that's a little sequence that's going to... How the particles are going to move through the fire. Um, so these should not be creating these hard edges here like, like I have here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete this effect. <clears throat> And I'm going to be deleting right, everything in there. Um, okay, so I don't. I want to supply. I want to be supplying the color from the um, particle emitter. So I'm not going to be using the flame color from here. So to desaturate it, I'm just going to drop this image in the alpha copy it back out and just pop it in here and that's it that's all I need here I'm gonna save this as a TGA and let's call this fire sub yes yes yeah. don't do anything my mouse is in the wrong place fire sub <laughs> fub <laughs> Fire sub UV text. Make sure that it's 32 or 24 to get the alpha. The alpha doesn't actually matter. You can just use the red channel because it's you know desaturated completely, so it's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Where am I going? Temp, temp, temp. Right, fire sub UV text. That's this guy here. Bring it in, and I've already made a mistake. I have to resize this guy to um, looking for 1024. And let's just quickly save that again. And then we can just bring it in here. Fire sub UV text, fire sub UV text. Bam! And that's what it looks like. We've got our 11 MIPS. I don't need to change anything in here. And I'm quite happy with that. That looks cool. Well, for me, you know. Um, so, the first thing I want to do is the material. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the material I created in this smoke. Because um, it's faster. So, I'm just going to copy it. And then call this uh, fire. It is different, so obviously that's why I'm copying it. You could use Unreal Engine's um, fire material too, if you want it. Um, but I'm going to be using this one. The first thing I want to do is um, I'm going to be using the emissive color and not the base color. Changing the texture to use, uh, oh, what's the wrong one? Uh, fire. If 
fire sub EV text. So we're simply multiplying the um, particle color into the um, the sub UV texture here. But there is a little trick of something I want to change or something I don't like. I'm going to get rid of this texture coordinate here, and I'm going to be adding time and a panner for the fire. Uh, for the smoke, you can choose if you want to do that. I, I don't like the effect on the smoke. It looks weird. So it's just going to be panning this cloudy texture over Forgot to set the speed over this um, fire. And you can see it. You can see it there. It's obviously still respecting the alpha. You can see it. It's just creating this almost like this. I don't know, wavy, wavering, wavy, uh, glimmering, shimmering. I don't know what you what you call it. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be changing anything else here. This is the material I want to use. Let's jump into the particle because that's the more tricky. I'm just going to call this FX fire. I'll drop this in the level quickly. And nothing happens until you open it up. Bam! Boom. Whatever. Um, okay. Actually, I'm not trying to be funny. I don't like being funny. This changes to fire. It should be F fire, fire, fire. So that, there's Unreal Engine's um, M underscore fire underscore sub UV. You can obviously use that and just put your texture in there. I'm going to be using this fire sub UV material here. I'm going to be replicating their fire effect. So usually I would go see what they did and then sort of copy it step for step, setting each of these parameters instead of just copying their fire effect in totality and then setting the you know just changing the material because i find if, if you do it this way by checking each of these parameters and setting them setting them as you set them you actually see the effect that it has and you understand how it works which is uh, kind of cool to sh show you what i mean is i would go to the fire effect and then i would look and see what they're doing here they're using this this one set to velocity so i would do the same I, I wouldn't just copy this whole effect and just change my 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 material to that obviously you can um it's gonna you know if you're pressed for time or whatever but you know if you want to figure out how did they do something or how something is working or what effect would this have if i change it if you copy the whole thing it's kind of difficult because you need to go through all of these and set them individually, solo out the emitter, and then try and remember like what does this do? What does that do? It's kind of kind of tricky. And you can't always do that. Especially not when it comes to things like animations and that, so because they'll they'll all be custom to your character. Right, enough waffling, waffling, waffle. Um, so we're going to be setting this guy to velocity. I think the spawn rate for this guy is 30, is 5. And so, so I'm going to be jumping around here and just double checking. Um, and then the lifetime is between 0 0.7 and 1. So let's go for half a second and 1. Um, the initial size, I'm going to be using 90 and 70 here because, uh, yeah, okay, well, we can first try it, try it, try it, try it the way they did it. So they went 60, 40 for, for X, but it doesn't always, it doesn't always work. Depends on, it really depends on your texture. I'm not always crazy about that that weird scaly um, let's just do the sub image index so we can see what I'm talking about um, so ours is going to go from 0 to 35 
and we have to set this guy up for sub uvs six by six uh, linear blend so you can already see the cross starting to come in here that's our, our fire going nuts and you want that for a fire i guess um, to look a little crazy this is much cooler i've got to be honest with you um right color over life um, I'm going to be using their colors because they they really nailed the the fire if the, the fire color so they they've got 2510 over what is the right word for this um, putting more than one because normally this goes from between zero and one this is not between uh, zero and 255 you can blow the color out by pumping this up and the more you if you put into these colors the the, the more emissive it's going to be I didn't know that honest to goodness i did not know that i only happened upon it so i don't know if anybody ever told you but yeah you can you can blow the colors out here um for your emissive by doing that so the first one here was so it's 25 1 and then end of life is uh 7 0 0. so let's see what we get you can see the You can see the effect it has immediately. Uh, let's just put this guy on real time. So something starting here. You know, it doesn't look like um, it doesn't look like much just yet. So I'm saying these. They got this weird scaling thing they're doing. I'm not sure if I like it. But eh, we can use it. We can use it. So I'm going to move on to initial velocity, 60, uh, 60, 30, 10, and 5. So let's put that in, 60, 10, uh, 30, and 5. Um, <clears throat> I think that's cool. We, we don't have dynamic parameters so i'm not going to worry about that and then they're doing a sphere um, emitter with uh, velocity for 30 and the scale is set at 0 0.5 so we're going to be doing the same uh, emit from a location set it to 30 make sure velocity is ticked and set the scale to 0 0.5 and then I'm also I'm missing my uh, constant acceleration. Um, it's constant acceleration. They're actually using constant acceleration. 12 and 60. Okay. Now I'm starting to get something. I want to just see what happens if I square these out a bit more I'm just not crazy about the about that skin, those skinny flames I just don't like it I don't know why I just don't like it um, size of our life we're missing unless I'm blind but yeah I don't see it um, we're going to start at 0 0.5 and we're going to end at uh, 1.5 we just make sure I mean it's not that important that I copy it you know exactly the same way they're doing it but it's important that I use at least some of those settings because it, it does look really cool the way that they've done it so um, now for the next guy I'm just gonna add a light here Not going to be changing any values on the light. Okay, it's the start of something. I'm going to be duplicating this emitter. And then just a quick comparison between these two. Um, obviously, this one has an initial rotation, but one of the most important thing is this one is set to PSA square 
So that's probably the most important thing here. And then his size is uh, 6050. Velocity is the same, color of life is the same. Um, you can see they're really blowing out the opacity here. Wow, I didn't know that. Let's do that. So they're not just going straight from zero to one. End of life is invisible, but what I want is um, about here. They're really blowing it out. Let's just check how did they do that. So 0 0.2, they're on 4. 0, they're on 0. So beginning of life, they're completely um, invisible. And in 0 0.2, so 20% in there, 4 times the opacity, and then it fades out to, to transparent again. So let's do the same for this guy. This sphere here um, is the same. But these seem to be transitioning much slower. Is that const acceleration 1260? I think that's the same. So um, the rate is also 5. Their lifetime also 0 0.7 to 1 so that's the same and then let's just double check the size 60 50 size by life it's the same then the initial velocity oh that's the same mine are moving a lot faster they're transitioning a lot faster. I need I need to figure out why. very interesting I don't actually know why it could be because of the banner it is possible or something something isn't right <laughs> it's getting these uh, I think the size by life broke somehow something's broken oh I clicked the wrong thing here, not sure. Disable soloing to perform the following toggle enable. Okay. There we go, something's not right there. It's interesting that that transition is really t t throwing me off. This really does look look a lot better. But yeah, that's not the that's not the point. Um. So everything here is the same. Let me just double check the size here again. Uh, 
So maybe I should bring this one back. 60-40 as well. I don't know, I just I don't like that that scaly don't like that scaly look on it. Hmm. Okay, then they've got um, just an initial rotation on here as well. So I'm going to be using that. So it could be that their textures are obviously uh, bigger than mine. Oh, go away. So let's bump this up to... I'm going to be using the same for for PSI squared. You don't need to set those; they don't matter. Um, Twelve and sixty. Yeah, those values are they're all the same. It's almost like they're getting a really cool transition there. I could slow the sub-image index down, like go for something like, you know, 12. I could do that and cheat. That's another way to do it. Oh, go away. What is this message? <laughs> okay, let's just close this for a second. I'm not sure what's going on. Unreal Engine <clears throat> right now. And let's go back in here. And that sphere feels a little bit... a little bit big. But I guess it works. I mean, it's not... It's not going to win any awards, as we all say. Scratchy, scratchy time for the dog. All right, so the next one I'm going to add, let's do some smoke. Actually, you can use this. So I'm going to duplicate this guy. We'll change this to our smoke. Now, we created the smoke in the previous one. So I'm going to go for M uh, smoke sub UV mat. It's going to look weird until we fix the color of a life. Uh, for the spawn for this guy, we're going to go for, uh, I think, three. Lifetime, I want to just see what they did. Oh, they're going two. Oh, wow. All right bring it down as well um, lifetime has been two and three seconds so let's set that um, the initial size that we're using initial location so let's get rid of the sphere use an initial location um, and then it's a uniform 10 Yeah, okay. Vector uniform. What am I doing? Initial location. <laughs> right, I'm on the wrong one. Okay. Um, let's fix initial velocity. I think that stays the same color of a life. I'll just go for just a bland. Land smoky color here, and then the alpha over life is obviously the problem here. So at zero point uh, one, I want to be at one, and then at one, I want to be at zero. 
and then the size by life and they're using three Bit hard to see it there, but you can see it here a bit better. So there's the the smoke. They're also using a little bit of a um, not a rotation rate, but I like uh, I like a rotation rate because it looks cool. They're not using a rotation rate. Rotation rate. Uh, okay, and then let's do some embers. I think those guys are a little bit a little bit hasty. Not crazy about them. They feel a little bit hasty to me. Not sure why. I feel like again they're, they're rushing through their indices. If I just solo them and you see they do not look rushed at all. Why? So almost like this right sub image uh, right is is lowered somewhere. They're also using a six by six. Um, Sub UV, so I do not want to increase the lifetime, so I'm not really sure actually why it's doing that. But it doesn't matter, I can just bring it down by cheating. I'll bring the sub UV um, sub UV down. Or you could increase the lifetime. So you could control the speed of the of the flames like that. Um, it could be because I've got maybe a little bit of too much chaos in there. Um, it could be this dynamic. But I doubt it. Eh, maybe, who knows? So make sure I didn't say something, you know, something I should not, um, should have said. Yeah, they're not. I don't know. They're not doing anything weird there. Uh, so the embers are quite cool. Uh, before we do the embers, we're going to need a new material. Now I've already gone and created that material, but I'm going to create it again. So let's delete that guy. Let's first see what did they do. So for these embers here, they're using a radial gradient material. And then multiplying that with the particle color. So we're going to be creating the same with one little difference. Um, so we go for radial gradient and call this grad grad max. Oh, this video is going a bit long now. Um, just make sure it's surface translucent to get opacity default lit. I don't think I need to change anything else. Um, yeah, I just want to check if I shouldn't set um, two sided, but I don't think I should. I, I never actually checked that. Yeah, no, you, you shouldn't. That's for footage. Right. Um, so I'm just going to start by creating a radial gradient. I'm going to be using exponential because that just does what they what they did there. Nothing fancy. We're going to put a particle color here. Come on, man. Come on. Particle color. And we'll just multiply these two in. Doesn't matter in which. 
sequence you do it and this goes to emissive that's it it's your simplest little particle there so let's create a new emitter I'm actually gonna duplicate this guy and then I'm just gonna change the type data here to a GPU sprite I do not need do not need light or sub UV um, or sub UV um, I think they're using about 30 here for the embers they're spawning about 30 and then they, they don't live long these guys go for sure let's go for one and one and a half seconds and I'm gonna be setting it to the radial gradient that we just created recompiling shaders because it just set the um, use in particles property for it I didn't even notice this uh, thing was on and then we get our message here that we need to do something so we just go down and fix our bounds for our uh, emitter I'm just gonna go with minus 200 and 200 because we're using GPU sprites Um, their initial size these guys are not uh, very big keeping them PSA square or must these be uh, these are PSA velocity okay so these are PSA velocity and then let's just double check the initial size it's three and five so this is how I like to to work and figure out how 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 they did stuff and then sort of copy what they did see how it affects every change you make how it affects it so let's put this on it's uh, to put it on the solo you're not going to see anything yet why let's just default this to oh nice Visible on birth and not visible on death. Hmm. Don't know why these guys are not visible yet, but let's see. Um, lifetime one and a half seconds. Initial size. So I did something wrong in the material, but <laughs> I mean that's possible I think it's right um, let's do the color of a life quickly these are getting blown out again so 4010 Zero point five, and then just a simple red here. Um, check the constant acceleration here. Let's set to a hundred, and then let's check the size. By life is not set at all. They're using initial velocity in orbit. So size by life we can drop, uh, initial rotation we can drop, initial location, I think they're using a sphere, yeah 5, no negative z with velocity set, so let's get rid of initial location set a sphere, uh, 5, no negative z, velocity set, and the scale, scale is set to 5. Okay, it's like the whole emitter just stopped working. And I don't know why.
Really not sure why. Um, I think there's something wrong with the GPU sprite emitter. Uh, this did not happen earlier. I didn't have this problem. Which is kind of weird. Maybe these must be one. No. And then using an orbit module. Would it would have been nice to show you before adding the orbit module. Okay, I have an idea. Let's delete this emitter and close this. So I can see this. There's definitely issues here with Unreal Engine. So I'm going to close this. And let's just open it up again. What was happening in a demo? Or a tutorial? Okay, so there's no fire in here. Let's bring it in. All right, because I've stopped everything now. Okay, let's see if those are back. <laughs> They're back. <laughs> let's create a new sprite emitter. Uh, set the type data to GPU. Okay, it, it didn't break so far. Let's change this to um, radio gradient. Yeah, it's working there. So <clears throat> it wasn't happy with me copying this emitter and then just changing the type data. Then it actually broke the entire cascade. That might not happen to you, but you know, I've seen some weird things happen now. All right, let's see if I can remember any of this. Um, I'm gonna go for what is it? 0 0.5 to 1. Uh, initial size between 5 and let's go to 3. Initial velocity. I'm just going to use the same velocity from here. I need to zero out um, Y. So it's 60, 30, 10, 5. Right, um, initial size we've set. Um, we need to make sure that these are PSA velocity. Um, the color over life, I think this was, was it 20? Was it 40, 20? Actually, I can't remember that. This was definitely just um, red. I'll check just now. And then we're going to need a few things. We're going to need collision and a whole bunch of other things. Let's go and double check. Particles, fire. Just going to focus on these embers here. Uh, we need our sphere. To emit from uh, five, no Z. Um, I think this was set to what five, four. Was that set to five? Yeah. Okay, color of a life should be fine. Oh yeah, I actually wanted to just double check the color. I really like the color that they're using. It's forty ten zero point five. So 4010 uh, 0 0.5. Then it just goes to red. Uh, 
and then they're using an orbit module. Which is quite cool. Um, they're using a few specific values here. Um, 30 for the distribution amount. Which looks quite cool. And then here are some more values down here. The rotation rate Z is set to 0 0.5. And then I think we need to just double check the constant acceleration. Actually, you don't have any. That must just be a hundred. And we'll, we'll use that. I'm just going to add sparks. So for sparks, I'm just going to duplicate the emitter. Set this to square. Um, I'm sure this is still gonna work <laughs> because this thing's really buggy at the minute all right so the the rate here for the sparks are just simply four um, these guys live between uh, a little bit longer and then um, let's check their size so they're three and two But they do something really cool. They size by um, velocity. So the sphere is the same. Ooh, they're using a, a different velocity scale. They're using a float uniform. Let's see if I can remember that. And I changed the wrong one. This was five. Cool, here we go. You can see them see them shooting off there into the initial velocity is still the same. Uh, context acceleration, they're getting pulled down um, with immense force. Also, I forgot to add, I need to add collision on these guys. Oh, okay, they don't have collision. These guys don't have collision. All right. So they're using 0 0.2, bounce 0 0.18 scene, scene depth. So 0 0.2, uh, bounce, and 0 0.18. What else? Size by speed, which is quite cool. So let's use size by speed. 0 0.2, 1, and 6. Size by speed. I think that's right. Yeah. And they're using a pivot offset. I've actually never seen this um, before. Between 0 and 0 0.5. So you can see mine are all just going in almost the same direction the whole time. And there's are going a little. So I, I guess that's what that does. Changes the pivot. Instead of ro um, rotation. Pivot offset for location. There we go. So between zero and zero point. Uh, let's just go for zero point two. Mine still all look like they're going in the same thing. So let me check the velocity quickly. Oh, okay. Mine do not look the same as theirs. Even the speed's different. Is that okay? Um, I 
just want to check they're not using a burst list. Oh, these are also set to PSA velocity. Okay, my bad. Mine are shooting out quite a bit more. They're not doing a red scale. Nope. Four and one. It must be some other setting, maybe somewhere. I don't know. Something's causing them to shoot off in, in, in different directions. Other than mine, mine are just all basically facing this way. I would have thought that is the initial velocity. But it doesn't look like it is. It's just interesting. I would have expected it to look a little bit more the same. I'm not going to do the distortion. Um, you can do that your damn self because it's quite easy. Um, so you can see the effect here, and you can then you can compare yours with theirs and see, you know. Well, theirs looks better, yours looks better, whatever. But this is... You can see that smoke is nuclear. But yeah. It's not a terrible fire effect, you could use this. You can see I've, I've slowed down the... <laughs> I really don't like those. Those embers are shooting off just really strangely. Um, okay. Let's quickly see here. Um, and then this is just insane. So I'm just going to go for... Um, gonna go for something like that and this speed this size is totally crazy I prefer that more also this lifetime here of these guys I bring them down to I don't want them living that long now if they do manage to hit the ground at least they will have collision set on them At least they bounce. I think that looks a little bit better. Still not like great. Ooh, it's me, me. You're so cool. Nah, it's, it's pretty bland. But it's 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 quite interesting and fun learning these things, getting um your own images in from a fluid sim into here. And there's not there are not a lot of tutorials on how to do that. I'm not saying like I'm the only one, but I'm saying that it's it's pretty cool when you see someone else do it and then it gives you ideas and you're like oh you know I can do this or I can try that or I can and you can use the script that I'm gonna give you it's totally free and then you can play with it make your own stuff you can you can use these same principles for the volumetric fog I'm not gonna do tutorials on volumetric fog because I, I might I did some cool stuff on that, but it's it's nothing like you know like doki pins um, or ray marching clouds or things like that. I just do the basic stuff. I don't like overcomplicating it um, because I don't, I don't see the point in that. I don't see the point in overcomplicating the overcomplicating the material. I mean, there are so many you know nodes in there that becomes such a mission to maintain. But, uh, but it's awesome to learn it, you know, if you want to figure out how these things work and, and, and all that. But um, I'm going to cut the video here. And then I'm going to call it done. Thanks for watching.